Okay, so we need to simplify this here. Now it doesn't matter if there's a third on the, on the top. What's noticeable, of course, there's a third on the bottom. Okay, so the bottom's irrational, so we can rationalize the denominator. Remember, like I said before, you essentially times top and bottom by this, but you do the opposite sign. So instead of root seven minus two, you'll times it by root seven plus two. Okay, you always go opposite to that. Okay, so you end up with that there. And we can put them together then, can't we? All right, we can put that together so that we've got this times this. So in a sense then we need to use brackets to show that, okay? And then on the bottom, okay? Now, when you, when you expand the top here, you've got to use foil, okay? So you'll have, um, let's just draw my fraction line first. So you'll have, um, 8 times root 7, the first, which is 8 root 7. Outers, then you have 8 times 2, which is 16. Inners, then you have root 7 times root 7, which is just 7, and it's a minus, so it'll be minus 7. And then last, then root 7 times 2 is 2 root 7. Again, it's a minus, isn't it? So minus 2 root 7. On the bottom, then, you'll have the first, which is root 7 times root 7, which is just 7. Now, the outers becomes root 7 times 2, which is 2 root 7. And the inners, again 2 root 7, but this time a minus. So notice they'll cancel again, won't they? Okay. And then the last, 2 times 2 is 4, and it's a minus times a plus, that's minus 4. So you end up then getting, on the top, 8 root 7 take away 2 root 7 is 6 root 7. 16 take away 7 is 9. Divide by then, on the bottom, three okay and um three goes into both of these doesn't it three goes into six twice so we can divide six by the three to get two and of course then the nine divides by three as well doesn't it so plus three okay and there's our completed answer